Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Anne, an RPG Maker horror game that's currently in development, where an art student finds herself trapped in a school, more so than usual. My name is Anne. I'm a freshman student at Delta Academy of Arts, majoring in digital art. My class has ended for the day, but I found myself returning to campus as I have left my USB flash drive at school. And graphics design is my passion. Alright, save your progress. Just volume. So, stay at RPG Maker stuff. Delta Academy of Arts. Let's see. Hope you enjoy your visit. <laughs> I won't. Halloween party. Nice. Missing. 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 Hmm. You know the middle girl looks kind of like, uh... Her name is Tay. Something from Zombie... Zombie Idols. Hey, buddy. It's so soothing. I wonder if I can compose such beautiful music for my final year project. Art. How does artwork even make it to the exhibition? It's so fugly. But you know what they say. Art is subjective. Or maybe I just don't understand art at all. I wonder. How do they decide on which artworks are to be displayed for the exhibition hall? It doesn't always have to be the best of the best, right? I know this because there are some really awful artwork that are on display like this one. Like, what the hell is this? This game was also made by a YouTuber, by the way. Success? Sculpting department. That looks like success to me. Uh, YouTuber wrong wrong? Excuse you if I say your name wrong somehow? Purloin, music department. Every year, one artwork is chosen from each department to be displayed in the exhibition hall. The student whose work is displayed is always a guaranteed to good career in the industry. Even if they did not pursue a career in art. Well, it's good for the resume, I guess. Fashion. Winter. I haven't finished my project and I need to use a sewing machine in the fashion department's workroom. I wish we could stay longer in the school, but you know, the 9pm school rule. Why aren't we allowed to stay here overnight? I know there are schools out there that are open 24-7. What's everyone lining up for? How you doing? Okay. Solitary. Impressive. Yo, what's up? Don't mind me. I'm just waiting for my friend. For a second there? Okay, I know you're not. But for a second there, as I was like glancing by real quick and not paying attention, I thought that was like you were holding Yu-Gi-Oh cards and you had a dual disc in your other hand. I'm like, huh. We take place in this universe, huh? I know you're just like holding like a, a bag or something. It's a long quarter leading to campus too. Now that I think about it, I've never been to campus too. But then again, I have no business there. I should really go to the classroom and retrieve my USB flash drive. No one ever goes to campus too. Women's restroom. Don't need to use it. Men's. Fashion department to classroom for the third year students. I can hear the rhythmic sound of the sewing machines. A trash can. It's empty. Like my soul. I haven't finished my assignment and the deadline is approaching fast. I wish we could stay in the school longer. But of course we have that stupid 9pm rule. Why can't they make an exception for the fashion department soon? Not everyone has a sewing machine at home.
No business here. No business here. Trash can is still empty, like my soul. That seems to be a standard thing in this world. I'm not using oil. I need the exercise. This trash can is also empty, like my soul. Yep, they 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 got that pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Why is this pile of junk still here? It's been there for almost a year. Has no one thought about cleaning it up? I know. Let's see. Sculpting department classroom for the first year students. There's no reason for me to go in there. I hear the voices of students talking. We might shouldn't bother them. Yeah, let's just keep moving on. Let's see. Music. There's a rumor circul circulating around the department. It's about the music piece that's playing in the exhibition hall. They said the piece was actually stolen and composed by someone else. Piano department. Come on, Bill. Open the door. It's not funny anymore. I think this is my department here. Hey, Anne. What brings you back up here? Hold up. Trash can. There we go. Let's check it. Trash can. It's empty like my soul. Yep. That's... It's canon. This would... This would actually be the second game now that has referenced that from me. So one of these days, one of these days, I'll have every single game out there reference that. I'll, I'll get so so big of a YouTuber, so famous, that you will not play a game. You will play Last of Us 20. Even if Last, Last of Us 20 is, you know, it's going to come out someday. It's even if they only get 20 sales. And you will see reference to my soul. I'm taking a USB flash drive. There's some time left before the school day ends. Maybe I could do some work before I go home. Okay. All clear. I better get out of here. Why? The art school just become haunted obligatory every night? Yep. We're dead. Oh no. It's midnight already. It's way past the school closing hours. I'm so screwed. Weird. No signal. Never mind. I should head out first. The clock hand stops exactly 12 o'clock. Oh, yep. Yeah. Maybe I should have not looked at the clock. What? What is that? It's a computer monitor of hands coming out of it. It's exactly what it is. Hey, do you just want a handshake? Oh no, you want to kill me. Game over. Well, I'll give it a hand. It did catch me. Hmm. What happened to the school? Corpse party happened to the school. That's what. It's a painting of a teenage girl. There's a small note written in the below the painting. Mira Hess. Painting young man. 
Charles Worth. Sinister painting. Small note written below the painting. Hannah. You're next. And... Yep. Ghost? No. Seeing things. Long hallway. Chapter 1. The piano department. Oh no. I have to deal with the spirits of all those suffering music students. A piano. Okay. Piano. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. A final year project for music department piano. Theme for Loin. Students have composed their own. Music sheets will be submitted. Final grades will be upon. So the words are missing. I'm not going back there. A sheet music. I wonder if there's any. Oh god! Game over. Okay, I have a feeling I need to make a lot of saves and everything is just gonna murder me. This won't murder me though. There's something on the floor. Piano key. I suppose the blood on the thing should have like pointed me towards that. I was gonna get Looney Tuned. Wait. Okay. Keyboards, pianos. There's a piano key there, I'll need that. Take piano key. Hey! That's mine! Where do you think you're going? Thief! What? No, what? Why is our piano chasing? No! Okay, we're gonna outrace the piano. Oh my god, the piano's so fast. Why can't they be that fast when you want to move them? Okay. <laughs> this is... Alright, I have to like go a certain way. There's invisible walls. So like there's like a wall here. So we have to make like a left, go up, go down, go right, and then da 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 da. Sure. It's not as linear as, as, as I would like it. It's a little bit tire. Okay. Oh my god, there's a piano. It's, it's so fast. How did it break for the floor? This is this is what music students go through. You know, normal people, they're, they're scared of like Nemesis with something breaking through the wall. You know what I mean? Like Mr. X, stuff like that. Or like, they're afraid of like bills. But music students, they're scared of pianos breaking through the floor and coming back to haunt them. All their all their trauma from when they're in music school. Just just chasing them to the ends of the earth. No, oh my god. I need to really practice this. That piano is so fast. Okay, it got hooked up on the some stuff, so that, that worked out great because I was not going to outrace that thing. We're good, I thankfully. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Cool. No. Repeat after me. Uh oh. Whoops. Whoops. Excellent. Don't chase me now. 
Hmm. Piano boss fight? A piano. Some of the piano keys are missing. Place the missing piano keys in the keyboard. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, I see. Each student can represent a floor. We're the funnel set. We're the, the, on the, um, digital art department. Someone's playing the piano. Someone's making a save file right now. Hmm. We may need to slow down at this part. Yeah, this part is tricky. Hello? Oh, hello. Sorry, I'm quite busy right now. Wait, you shouldn't be here. Oh no. Oh no. Did you remain in the school after 9 p.m.? You shouldn't have done that. Anyway, I'm Mira Hess. I was a student from the piano department. Listen, I know you're confused about what is going on with the school, but you need to get out of here now. Exit this room. Turn left and go down the stairs. There's a piano block in the way. Huh. That's weird. There should be nothing there. I have heard this music before. Huh. What do you mean? This is the music that was playing in the exhibition hall. Impossible. This is my original work. I composed it. But before I could submit it, I was trapped here. Wait. Unless... Ivy. Right. I... I knew it. That bitch. I... I understand now. That day, before I was trapped here. She drugged me and... She stole it! Yep, that's the music, Stuart. Uh. 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 I have to get out of here. Well, I... Okay. Just... Just... Learn to dodge. Learn to dodge. Ah! It's fine. Wait, no, I can't... I can't touch the bottom pianos. They'll kill me, too. The stationary pianos will kill me. Okay. Okay. We good? It's moving out. I know it's my chance. Wait. Now go out. Oh, the instinct. That's right. Whoa. Cool. My work. Mean it to the exhibition. Oh well. There was never a ghost there. That was interesting. To whoever is reading this, keep calm and don't panic. I am a security guard working for this school. Just stay exactly in the place where you found this paper and yell security as loudly as you can. I will come to you and help you get out. Security. Nah, never forget. I'm walking. Come to save you. I'm a paranormal security guard. To be continued. Oh, we're going to have our old friends, the mannequins, come after us. Ho, ho, ho. So that's it for the and demo. So it's very promising. It's, um, I can see where it's borrowing from, you know, Corpse Party, Witch's House, etc., etc. Uh, I'm wrong, wrong. I've, I've seen the comments on my videos. Uh, 
so obviously they know RPG Maker games. But I will give them huge credit because they, they do the thing I, I sometimes talk about and I tend to notice sometimes developers kind of miss, at least for a demo anyway. For these type of games, you really want to start off with a relatively fast pace. You don't want to linger too much. If you're a very story-based game, you can do that because you're trying to establish a story and setting. But, you know, going back to, say, Corpse Party, the well, the remake version, technically. The original was RPG Maker, but it kind of counts as the same way. You spend enough time in the school to just get an establishment for where each character is, and then you're relatively sucked into the school pretty quickly. And then the pacing buildup is within the school. It's not, let's say, somewhere where it shouldn't be. The later Corpse Parties kind of broke that rule a little bit, which is why I think they're not as well received. But this one has started very strong and fast, very kind of hard, start surviving right away, buddy. And then it started introducing a little bit of like story, like, hmm, what's going on here? Looks like we're gonna introduce another character. There's gonna be some dialogue between them. So that, that's how you should do it. For this type of horror kind of game anyway. Once again, like I said, if you're going for a very moody story-based game, maybe something more towards that Silent Hill aspect or things like that, then you obviously want a bit of a slower pace. But this looks like it's going for more of the, the fun angle of things um, because we're being chased by pianos. And pianos are terrifying. Uh, they're terrifying if you've ever played a piano, as I, I've played a piano before. I used to take piano lessons myself and stuff. And they're terrifying if you haven't played a piano. You know, everyone... Everyone remembers the, uh, from the the piano from Mario, and the, I mean the structure of the, the the art school, is a good setting because the way they decide to use it with the, looks like it's going to be themed based on different art departments, and so each one's going to be a little bit different. That's a very good idea. That kind of lets things keep itself, kind of refreshing, so you don't kind of stay into one area too long or you kind of get bored or kind of burn out on it. I'm curious if we will go back to the graphic design, uh, more of the traditional art departments, or if it's going to go down just the areas where these other students have passed away. Because if we go back to the art department, uh, the the graphic design one, at some point I half expect a, a graphics program cursor brush or something to come chasing after you. You don't have to literally put that in the game developer, but I, I just think it, I just find, would find that hilarious if we had to like theme every zone. <laughs> Uh, final note I would also mention is that they have captured the essence of Witch's House, which not too many of them are able to do, and that is Witch's House never let up. Witch's House, a good thing about Witch's House, because Witch's House is not necessarily the strongest of the storylines of all of them. Something like Eve maybe has a little more heart, Witch's House has the, the shocking ending. That's kind of like the only real true story you get, but Witch's House was fun because it never let up and you never knew what you could trust. It followed a bit of the old adventure game logic rules of where you touch a teacup and there was no way you could know it was poison and it was poison and you just died. <laughs> um, but then just amped that up. While it's obviously not the intended reference, it might be. Um, I personally kind of think of this as the, the Evil Dead 2 style horror. Specifically when the, the whole house kind of turns against Ash. Because no worry in Evil Dead, there was, there was a very unique thing is that nothing was ever safe for Ash. A piece of furniture, uh, a random thing. There was like inherently no rest. Everything could turn against them because the the demons were kind of possessing and going after everything under the roof. So I think something like Witch's House and something like this actually kind of capture a bit of that essence. But yeah. Anyway. So thank you all for watching play the and demo. I'll see you guys later. And take it easy.